For our sake, he made him to be sin who knew no sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Second Corinthians five twenty one. Finding worth in Christ, one of、uh, our humanity's deepest pursuits. It's finding our identity. We want to know who we are. It's often tempting to seek definition and set its significance in the world that offers a myriad of labels. But when we chase validation in the temporary sources, hoping they'll define us, we only find fleeting satisfaction. In Second Corinthians five twenty one, Paul describes an eternal identity gifted to us by Christ. For our sake, He made Him to be sin who knew no sin, so that in Him we might become the righteousness of God. Jesus took on the weight of our sin, absorbing its penalty. Without ever seeing himself, he did this so that we might be reconciled to God with a new identity defined by Christ's righteousness, not our own, and not this world. Christ has、uh, sacrificially given us a new identity and purpose. Our yearning for identity. Can only find its fulfillment in Christ. We are recipients of His righteousness, and in Him our identity is forever secure. Consider today how this truth shapes your sense of worth. Are you seeking worldly validation, or are you resting in Jesus' righteousness? How might recognizing your identity in Christ transform how you view yourself and interact with this world? Prayer, God, thank you for your sacrifice on the cross. You took what should have been my punishment upon your Son. Thank you for grace and redemption. Help me to reflect those qualities to those around me. In Jesus' name, Amen. Scripture: God made Him who had no sin to be sin for us, so that in Him we might become the righteousness of God. 神使那位没有罪的替我们成为罪，好使我们在他里面。成为神的义，《哥林多后书》五二十一。What is Lent? Why Lent? Pause for a moment and look outside. What do you see? What makes you smile? Whatever you just described, think about this. What you saw was always there. It was just waiting for you to pause and notice it. That's the basic purpose of Lent: to create a space in the middle of life's responsibilities to appreciate what's always been there, God's presence. Lent is a forty-day period leading up to Resurrection Sunday. Based on Jesus' forty days in the wilderness, Lent is a tool. It's a tool that can help you become more aware of God's voice and His sacrificial love. Although Lent isn't actually mentioned in the Bible, it was discussed at the Council of Nicaea in three hundred twenty-five A.D. Because it provided a rhythm of reflection and repentance for Christians as they entered spring, a season often associated with the new beginnings. The purpose of Lent isn't to better your life, but to center your life on what matters most. 
the one who made you and died for you. And one of the ways you do this is through practicing spiritual habits. So as you prepare for Resurrection Sunday, let's explore some spiritual habits you can practice during this season and make a part of your daily life in years to come. Together, let's make space for what matters. Honor God. God, all glory, honor, and praise belong to you alone. You are worthy of all my adoration. You alone formed the world and called what you created good. Thank you for being who you are and thank you for creating me in your likeness. Today, I just want to worship you. Let my life be for you and your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. My concerns. Peace I leave with you. My peace I gave to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. John fourteen twenty seven. Imagine God hands you a gift. His peace in return. He asks you to give him your worries and concerns. That may seem crazy, but that's exactly what God wants from you. Think about that as you talk to him about what's on your mind today. God's will. The one who speaks on his own authority seeks his own glory. But the one who seeks the glory of him who sent him is true. And in him, there's no falsehood. John 7, 18. What would it look like for you to honor God through what you say? Spend a few moments asking God how you can apply these words to your life. Closing. All glory to God who is able to do far more than all that we could ever ask or imagine. Take a few moments to process this time with God before going about the rest of your day.